The Senate will come to order. Will the Secretary please call the roll? Senator Brooks? Here. Senator Buck? Here. Senator Canisaro? Here. Senator Dennis? Here. Senator Donate? Here. Senator Dondero Loop? Here. Senator Gokachia? Senator Hammond? Here. Senator Hansen? Here. Senator Hardy? Here. Senator Harris? Here. Senator Kikeffer? Senator Lang? Here. Senator Neal? Here. Senator Orenshaw? Here. Senator Pickard? Here. Senator Ratty? Senator Scheibel, yeah. Senator Severs Gansert, yeah. Senator Settlemeyer, yeah. Senator Spearman, yeah. Senator Kikeffer. Senator Canizaro. Thank you, Mr. President Pro Tempore. Please mark Senator Kikeffer excused. Thank you. Um, let the record reflect there are 20 senators present. Uh, please rise for the invocation by uh, President Rajan Zed, University Society of Hinduism, Reno. Om Purva Vahasvah Tat Savitur Varenam Bargo Devasadimahi Dio Yona Prachodyat. We meditate on the transcendental glory of the Deity Supreme, who is inside the heart of the earth, inside the life of the sky, and inside the soul of the heaven. May he stimulate and illuminate our minds. Astoma sadgamya tamsoma jyotir gamya mrityur mamnatam gamya. Lead us from the unreal to the real. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from death to immortality. Tasmada sakta statam karyam karma samachara asakto hacharan karma parma banoti purusha karma neva hi samsiddhi masita jankadya loka sangreha meva pi sampa shankar tumrahasi. Strive constantly to serve the welfare of the world by devotion to selfless. One attains the supreme goal of life. Do your work with the welfare of others always in mind. Om Saha Navavatu, Saha Nobunaktu, Saha Viryan Karva Bahai, Tejasvi Navadita Mastu, Ma Vidvisa Bahai. May we be protected together. May we be nourished together. May we work together with great vigor. May our study be enlightening. May no obstacle arise between us. Samniva kuti, samna hirdyaniva, samna mastu vomano, yathava susa hasti. United your resolve, united your hearts, may your spirits be at one, that you may long together dwell in unity and conquered. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And to all. Om. Thank you. Please remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank
The same back with recommendation do pass. Signed, Senator Marilyn Dundero Loop, Chair. Mr. President, pro tempore, your committee on growth and infrastructure, to which we refer to some bills numbers 123, 154, 188, 281, 403, has had the same under consideration. Begs the report, the same back with recommendation do pass. Signed, Senator Dallas Harris, Chair. Mr. President, pro tempore, your committee on health and human services, to which we refer to some bills numbers 96, 119, 217, has the same under consideration. Begs the report, the same back with recommendation do pass. Signed, Senator Julia Reddy, Chair. Mr. President, pro tempore, your committee on judiciary, to which we refer to some bills numbers 23, 24, 25, 58, 58, 59, but 157, 406 has the same under consideration. Begs the report, sending back the recommendation to pass. Signed, Senator Melanie Scheibel, Chair. Mr. President, pro tempore, your committee on natural resources, to which to refer to some bill number 171, Assembly Joint Resolutions 24, has the same under consideration. Begs the report, sending back the recommendation to pass. Also, your committee on natural resources, to which is referred Assembly Bill number 52, has the same under consideration. Begs the report, sending back the recommendation amended to pass as amended. Signed, Senator Fabian Donate, Chair. Mr. President, pro tempore, your committee on revenue and economic development, to which to refer to Assembly Bills numbers 2069, has the same under consideration. Begs the report, sending back the recommendation to pass. Signed, Senator Julia Ratty, Vice Chair. End of reports. Thank you. Um, order of business number six, messages from the Assembly. Assembly Chamber, Carson City, May 10th, 2021. To the Honorable Senate, I have the honor to inform you all about the assignment this day passed. Senate Bills number 17, 23, 52, 53, 65, 340. Two Senate Joint Resolutions 10 and 12. Also, the Assembly on May 12th, 2021 has the honor to inform the Honorable Body of the Assembly on this day passed as amended. Assembly Bills numbers 348 and 450. Signed, Carol Ayala Assistant Chief Clerk of the Assembly. End of messages. Order of business number um, eight, waivers and exemptions. Uh, I'm sorry, F7, communications. Uh, May 12, 2021, the Honorable Nicole, Nicole Canazaro, the Honorable Jason Farris, and dear Majority Leader Canazaro and Speaker Farris, and I'm ready to request the opportunity to speak to the distinguished members of the Nevada State Legislature on Tuesday, May 18, 2021, at 5 p.m. I look forward to speaking about the pressing issues before the United States Congress in the upcoming months and how they will affect the great state of Nevada. I thank you in advance for your kind consideration. Sincerely, Catherine Cortez Masto, United States Senator, end of communications. Order of business number eight, waivers and exemptions. Notice of exemption, May 12, 2021. The Fiscal Analysis Division, pursuant to Joint Standard Rule 14.6, has determined the eligibility for exemption of Senate Bill number 108. Signed, Sarah Kaufman, Fiscal Analysis Division, end of exemptions. Order of business number nine, motions, resolutions, and notices. Senator Ratty. Uh, Senator or is that Senator, Car Sen Senator Canazaro? Thank you, Mr. President, pro tempore. I move that we take Senate concurrent resolution number nine from its place on the resolution file and place it on the resolution file for the next legislative day. You've heard the motion. All those in favor signify by saying yay. Opposed by, uh, opposed nay. The motion carries. Senator Cannizzaro. Thank you, Mr. President, pro tempore. I move that we take assembly bills 31, 34, 54, 74, 75, 118, 413, 420, and 426 from their place on the general file and place them on general file for the next legislative day. You've heard the motion. All those in favor signify by saying yay. yay. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, Senator Brooks. Thank you, Mr. President, pro tempore. I move to immediately place Senate Bill 439, just reported out of committee, on the second reading file. You've heard the motion. All those in favor signify by saying yay. Any opposed, nay. The motion carries. And that concludes order business number nine. Order, order business number 10, introductions, first reading and reference. Senate Bill number 446, introduced by Senate Committee on Finance, revises provisions relating to Western Re Regional Education Compact and a bill. Senator Brooks. Thank you, Mr. President, pro tempore. I move that we refer Senate Bill 446 to the Committee on Education. You've heard the motion. All those in favor signify by saying yay. Opposed, nay. The motion carries. Senate Bill Number 447, introduced by Senate Committee on Finance, revises provisions relating to deceptive trade practices and of bill. If there are, uh, Senator Brooks. Thank you, Mr. President, pro tempore. I move that we refer Senate Bill 447 to the Committee on Government Affairs. Um, if there are no objections, so ordered. Senator Brooks. 
Senate Bill Number 448, introduced by Senators Brooks, et cetera, and Assemblywoman Monroe Moreno, et cetera, revises provisions governing public utilities, end of bill. Now Senator Brooks. Thank you, Mr. President Pro Tempore. I move that we refer Senate Bill 448 to the Committee on Growth and Infrastructure. There are no objections, so ordered. Assembly Bill Number 348, introduced by Assemblywoman Carlton, revised its provisions relating to Patient Protection Commission, end of bill. Senator Ramey. Thank you. I yeah, uh, move to refer Assembly Bill 348 to the Committee on Health and Human Services. There are no objections, so ordered. Assembly Bill Number 450, introduced by Assembly Committee on Education, revises provisions relating to workforce development, end of bill. Senator Ratty. Thank you. I move to refer Assembly Bill 450 to the Committee on Legislative Operations and Elections. If there are no objections, so ordered. And that concludes order business number 10. Order business number eight, waivers and exemptions. Waiver of joint standing rules requested by Senator Brooks revises provisions relating to energy on Senate Bill 448. Uh, to waive subsections one of joint standing rules 14.2 and 14.3 and subsections two, three, and four of standing, joint standing rule 14.3 has been granted effective April 8th, 2021. Signed, Nicole Canazaro, Senate Majority Leader, Jason Frierson, Speaker of the Assembly, end of waivers. Order business number 12, second reading. Assembly Bill number four, introduced by Assembly Committee on Commerce and Labor. Revises provisions relating to Nevada Insurance Guarantee Association. The people of the state of Nevada represented in the Senate and Assembly do enact as follows, section one to section one. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Senate bill, uh, or sorry, Assembly bill number four is ordered to the general file. Assembly bill number six, introduced by Assembly Committee on Natural Resources, revises provisions governing application for a temporary change relating to appropriated water, end of bill. Uh, the people of the state of Nevada represented in the Senate and Assembly do enact as follows, section one to section one. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Uh, Assembly Bill 6 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill number 18, introduced by Assembly Committee on Commerce and Labor, revises provisions relating to contracts of insurance and casualty insurance. The people of the state of Nevada, represented in the Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows, section 1 to section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 18 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill number 27, introduced by Assembly Committee on Judiciary, revises provisions relating to administration of child support. The people of the state of Nevada, represented in the Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows, section 1 to section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 27 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill number 30, introduced by Assembly Committee on Judiciary, revises provisions relating to account for aid for victims of domestic violence. People state in Nevada, represented in the Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows, section one to section one. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 30 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill number 33, introduced by Assembly Committee on Judiciary, authorizes the establishment of paternity and proceedings concerning the protection of children. People state in Nevada, represented in the Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows, section one to section one. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 33 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill Number 43, introduced by Assembly Committee on Judiciary, requests the Nevada Supreme Court to study certain issues relating to the Commission on Judicial Discipline. The people state of Nevada represented in the Senate Assembly do enact as follows, Section 1 to Section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 43 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill Number 60, introduced by Assembly Committee on Judiciary, makes certain provisions of a contract or settlement agreement void and unenforceable. The people state of Nevada represented in the Senate Assembly do enact as follows, Section 1 to Section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 60 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill Number 64, introduced by Assembly Committee on Judiciary, revises provisions relating to certain crimes. The people of the state of Nevada represented in the Senate Assembly do enact as follows, Section 1 to Section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 64 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill Number 72, introduced by Assembly Committee on Natural Resources, revises provisions relating to Nevada State Board of Geographic Names. The people of the state of Nevada represented in the Senate Assembly do enact as follows, Section 1 to Section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 72 is ordered to the general file. Assembly Bill Number 437, introduced by Assembly Committee on Commerce and Labor, revises provisions relating to embalming. The people of the state of Nevada represented in the Senate Assembly do enact as follows, Section 1 to Section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? There are none. Assembly Bill 437 is ordered to the general file. And Senate Bill Number 439, introduced by Senate Committee on Finance, revises provisions relating to education. The people of the state of Nevada represented in the Senate Assembly do enact as follows, Section 1 to Section 1. Are there any amendments to the bill? I have amendment number 524 proposed by the Senate Committee on Finance. Let's see. Senator, Senator Raddy? Oh, Senator Brooks, sorry. 
Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President Pro Tem. I move that we dispense with the reading of amendment number 524. If there are no objections, so ordered. Senator Brooks. Uh, thank you. Uh, I move that the Senate adopt amendment number 524 to Senate Bill 439. You've heard the motion. Are there any remarks? Senator Brooks. Yes, thank you, Mr. President Pro Tem. Uh, Assembly, uh, Amendment 524 to Senate Bill 439 revises Section 3 of the bill to require the transfer of any remaining balance in the state education fund to the education stabilization account at the end of each biennium rather than at the end of each fiscal year. Amendment 524 to Senate Bill 439 further revises Section 3 of the bill to authorize the Department of Education to submit a request to the Interim Finance Committee for a transfer from the education stabilization account to the state education fund if the committee determines actual enrollment growth for a fiscal year exceeds the projected enrollment growth and a transfer is necessary to fund the excess enrollment. Thank you. Are there any further remarks? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying yay. yay. Opposed nay. The motion is carried. Are there any further amendments to the bill? There are none. All right, uh, Senate Bill 439 is ordered, uh, repented and grossed then to the general file. And that concludes order of business number 12. Order of business number 13. Has been moved to the next legislative day. Order of business number four, uh, reports of committee. Mr. President, pro tempore, your committee on growth and infrastructure to which you referred Senate Bill number 430 has the same under consideration, big executive report, same back the recommendation amended to pass as amended. Signed Senator Dallas Harris, chair, end of reports. That concludes business of the desk for this legislative day. Thank you. Order of business 16. Anyone wishing to give? And Senator Scheibel. Thank you, President Pro Tempore. Uh, just a quick announcement. I know that it's only 20 minutes away, but Judiciary will still be starting at 1 p.m. Okay, anyone else? Senator Spearman. Thank you, Mr. President Pro Tempore. Uh, just want to acknowledge that this is Military Spouses Appreciation Month, and want to, I just want to acknowledge and appreciate those who support us when we serve. According to the Department of Defense, there are more than 630,000 military spouses in the U.S., 5,415 active duty spouses in Nevada. Compared to civilians, military spouses who are 93% female are 10 times more likely than other workers to have moved to a new state in the last year due to military location, relocation. When we get orders, we know that we have to go. But the people that love us and our family members, many times, even if they don't want to go, if they want to support us, they go. When we get orders and it sends us downrange or into combat zones, they know that they can't go. But while we're fighting to preserve and protect America's freedom on freedom's frontier, they're home praying and hoping that there will not be a knock on the door. They go through this because they love us and they love our country. Many times we will talk about how we appreciate our veterans, and we should do that. But I think those, the, the wind beneath our wings are military spouses. And that's one of the reasons why we have Senate Bill 402 and Senate Bill 335, because we want to make sure that military members and their spouses are taken care of. So I would hope that you would join me in just a show of appreciation for all of the military spouses, those who are active now, and those who served when their spouse served, no matter how long ago it was. They have supported our country too. Thank you. Thank you. Any further remarks? Not Senator Canizaro. 
Thank you, Mr. President Pro Tempore. Uh, with that, I move that the Senate stand in adjournment until the hour of 11 a.m. on Friday, May 14th, 2021. You have heard the motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed nay. The motion is carried. The Senate is adjourned. <laughs>